control of their lives with the Prevention of Government Imposed Vaccination Mandates Act. Mr. Speaker, this bill would ban the government from imposing vaccine mandates as a condition of travel or employment. Uh, if the bill passes, the government would no longer require uh, be able to require federal workers to get vaccinated in order to keep their paychecks and jobs. It would also ban the federal government from requiring vaccines as a uh, in order for people to travel. In other words, it would allow all Canadians regardless of their personal medical decisions to continue to work in the federal sector or travel on trains, uh, planes, uh, and other federally regulated modes of transportation, uh, regardless of whether they are vaccinated. Mr. Speaker, we are an outlier in Canada today. Most countries have removed mandates for travel, including the UK, Germany, Italy, Thailand, Poland, Argentina, Chile, uh, and uh, many others. All provinces have now removed vaccine mandates. The five big banks have done likewise, and public sector unions have even begun legal actions to remove these discriminatory mandates. I have met countless people and heard endless uh, tragic stories of people separated from family members by their inability to get on an airplane or who are languishing without a paycheck despite having a spotless track record serving uh, their employer over many years. This is uh, th These mandates have become nothing more than a cruel attempt to demonize a small minority uh, and uh, they are absolutely unnecessary and without any scientific basis. And so I call on all members of Parliament to end this discrimination, give people back control of their own personal medical decision and their bodies by passing this bill, banning the federal government from imposing these mandates and allowing Canadians to take back control of their lives. Thank you very much.